All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you some more stuff that you can do with the Xbox mobile app that revolves around your profile and the fact that there's rewards in there and you can also customize it. And that's also where you do things like change your settings for the app itself. So inside of here, there's a few different tabs. And the first tab is the rewards tab where you can log in to the app once a day to do like a little check in and they'll give you some points. And then they also give you points when you play a game either on your PC or on your Xbox. And they also like to give you points if you play like a game that they really want you to play, like they advertise for it, but I haven't really done that. And you might think that's kind of a waste of time, like that's just an annoying, pointless, like fun buck point thing, Larry, like I don't really see what the point is, but you can actually redeem these Xbox points for gift cards that you can use to buy stuff in the store or like from specific games. So it ends up being worthwhile to go through and mess around with that. Uh, the other stuff that you can kind of go through and do in here is there's the posts category and inside of the posts this is where you can view your captures. And those are when you record video with the Xbox app, the Xbox game bar, you can post those gameplay moments here to share with all of your friends along with some other information. I don't really use that personally, though. And then after that, you can also go to your achievement section. This is sort of like a running list of all of the games that Xbox like tracks for achievements and game time, where you can see and compare with your friends like what you got for achievements, which ones you have, they don't, or they have and you don't. And it'll also show you things like uh, which ones are still in progress, so you can continue to work towards them if you like achievement hunting. And then if you're curious what your game stats are, it also tracks a lot of detailed game information like time played and like in the case of Sea of Thieves, like distance traveled and things turned in for money that you might not have been aware of. It's kind of interesting to see. And then at the final tab is your about section. This is where you can kind of get a running list of all of the games that you've been playing in chronological order from the one that you played last, along with seeing who your friends are, what platforms you play on, your gamer score, all of that stuff. So if you click on the three little dots up above next to your character name, next to appear offline, you can change the visual appearance of your profile. This allows you to put on like a color gradient or a game specific theme skin. That's mostly just a visual thing. Not everyone can see that when they're browsing around on apps on other people's stuff. Uh, and then you can also go to the gear in the upper right hand corner and inside of here is where you can control things like linked accounts, where you can see like, you can attach your Discord account or your Reddit account or your Steam accounts. So people can see that information. And then it also will let you change different settings in here, like for privacy who can see your captures, who can see your activity feed, uh, who do you want to communicate with outside of Xbox, like everyone on the internet can see and talk to you, or who do you want to communicate with on Xbox, and you can set it to friends only if you want, that sort of thing. Um, beyond that, there's just a lot of different things like social privacy settings in here that you can mess around with, who you want to be able to invite you, who can see your online status, things like that. And then there's also some information at the bottom, like how you can get help and support or sign out and switch your account to a different account entirely in case you logged into the wrong one. So aside from that and linking your accounts, you can also use the big button at the top to appear offline. If you don't want people to pester you or see that you're online at all, you just want some alone time, you can appear offline. And for the most part, that is it. I mean, there's not a lot of crazy stuff here. Um, if you want to see your notifications, you're going to have to go back to the main home page at the top where you can see things like people that have recently friended you or sent you messages. And then, yeah, that's about it. You can also get some info on how to send stuff to your console. Like this also lets you control and install remotely games to your console if you've got it hooked up. And you can also do things like check out different games on the front page to see who's been playing it recently along just in case you're curious as to like who you might want to play a game with or who has what game. So yeah, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been kind of a brief look at your profile and some of the main homepage information available on the Xbox app. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.